in a landlocked municipality of Libacao, which is 31 kilometers from the provincial capital of Calibo, province of Aklan, is where the Abaca Fiber Production, Consolidation and Trading Enterprise is located, specifically in Barangay Publicion. It is managed by Lori Agrarian Reform Cooperative or LARC as the lead proponent, along with its two cluster members, Madalag Development Cooperative or MADECO, and kaisahan it mga samahan it mga libakaw noon para sa kauswagan or kasalika. Knowing farming as the basic livelihood in the interior of Aklan, particularly of Libakaw, with its 254.98 square kilometer vast land area, which constitutes 14% of the province's total land area, posts a high potential in the production of high-value and fiber crops. It could also be noted that 70 to 80 percent of a clan's abaca produce comes from the Bacal Town. With the ongoing implementation of IWIP sub project of the Philippine Rural Development Project in the Bacal, the enterprise is up for greater aim of establishing a Class A trading center that will provide high quality abaca fiber to the market and likewise offer competitive prices to abaca farmers in the province. I'm Nelia Zerome, General Manager of the Lori Agrarian Reform Cooperative in Libacawaklan. We have received funding from PRDP, 550,000 pesos for production support for production of high quality fiber. For the post harvest facilities, we were given 1 million pesos for the purchase of hydraulic bailing machine. And then for our trading capital, we were given 914,400 pesos. We received trainings from different agencies such as the Filfida and the Department of Agriculture, training on abaca production technology conducted virtually for, us, for selected members, training on classification and grading on the hand strip fiber extracted and as well as the machine strip fibers. Entrepreneurial skills training on and financial management. We also have attended financial management and record training, and another virtual training on digital marketing, as well as the consultation, public consultation on abaca road mapping, which was recently conducted virtually. For the abaca production training, yes, our farmers who attended, generally they learned how to manage their abaca farm, especially for the prevention of pest and disease and management. A total of 1,000 abaca farmer members of the cooperative, composed of 382 male and 618 female, are currently on the works to materialize the 7,742,765.40 worth project co-funded by the PRDP, Provincial Local Government Unit or PLGU, including the proponent group Equity. The Abaca Enterprise consolidates 4 kilograms of Abaca fiber produced by its 1,000 members on a daily basis to classified, baled, and graded then directly sell them to the processors. The consolidation as management scheme follows 75% shares given to the member or beneficiary, 15% for the enterprise for its sustainability and expansion, 9% goes to the lead proponent, and 1% as cluster share. Talking of, of our sales or our market, our record shows will show that our consolidated Fiber started starting October and our first shipment is January. We shifted twice on January and our February 
we come up with a net, total net 262,000 for three months. Our future plan, we have expansion in other municipalities. So included in our plan is to expand our membership in, in Lori as well as in the enterprise. So that what the enterprise avail or what the inter enterprise is doing, it can be applied also to expand it. We need to enhance our trading capital to lessen our, our expenses in manpower. We need to have loader to load our built products. We need also vehicle to, trans to haul or to, to get our fiber sa Parguarangays as well as we are paying more or, more or less 75,000 pesos for transport to Chingi. So we need, we need, we really need to have 10 wheeler wing band vehicle for transport of products. We also request for training on license for license classifier because the classifier we are using today is the classifier of other plants, other agents. We plan to source out funds, especially for the trading capital, so that we can continuously go on with our operation, not waiting for the payment and start again for the next cycle. We plan to continue campaigning for Abaca expansion. Then we plan to lobby from the purchaser to increase their buying price for us or even to free na lang ang transportation expense kasi hindi sila, hindi sila pwede mag-pick up so in any course they can make it. I'm very happy to hear that because of Lori, they have enjoyed the high price. Then, nasusunod nila ang standard namin. Kasi we pay them according to the grade of their product or their fiber na dinadala dito. Thank you, thank you so much from, from Lori family to PRDP, especially the, the DA, all the persons who made this possible. While it cannot be outdone that Libacao has been considered as the major abaca producing municipality in the province, the cooperative has yet a long way to go to realize all its vision. But with the continuous support given to them by the PRDP and all other project stakeholders, surely more opportunities for the abaca farmers in Libacao is in store.